He should wash! Son of a bitch. You just got <laughs> charged. <laughs> Classic. Hello everybody and welcome back to Sarge Gaming. We are here today. I'm gonna be doing my first tank review on the mighty motherland prototype T54. So yeah, I got this yesterday. Made that video. I know I love that video videos so fucking yeah. Mm. Anyway, um we're gonna be comparing we're gonna be reviewing this tank, we're gonna be comparing it to the Type 59 since uh it's really like pretty similar. Like this is a Chinese copy. I mean what tank isn't a Chinese copy, am I right? M5 Stuart, come on, T34, what what are you doing, China? Anyway. Alright, so I have the stats here. We're gonna be talking about the armor, the gun, the speed, and concealment and acquisition. So uh alright, so first first things first. Uh, I played enough games in each tank. You can see top 59 definitely do have enough games to save for. Anyway, I know how to play both these tanks. They play relatively similar. They have different weaknesses and different strengths though, so I mean, we're going to be going through that. First things first, armor. The muzzle land has 120 millimeters at the front. That's right there. I don't know what the lower glacis is. World Tanks doesn't tell me that. 120 at the front at that angle, which is pretty good. And then 90 at the side, so the ni side's 90. The tracks count for 20 millimeters of spaced armor, so. And then the rear is 45, but who really cares about 45 at the rear? The turret is uh, pretty well armored. It's got 180 millimeters in the front. That's, a, that's like the front here. And the sides, which are angled if you're looking straight at the tank, are 120. And the rear is 75. And it has 1,300 hit points. That's pretty good for a uh, tier 8 medium. Now we go over to the Type 59. We have a different story. Front hull is um, 100. It's just 100. The sides are 80. And the back's 45. So the hull is considerably less armored than the Motherland, except the rear, which is still 45. Now the turret is a different story. The turret is incredibly well armored with 200 millimeters at the front, right there. And that angle, you're not penetrating this thing's turret. And the side of this is 130, and the rear is 60. So the turret on this thing is unstoppable. Like, if you get hull down uh, directly ahead, you're good. But your turret armor doesn't help you too much if you don't have good gun depression. Chinese tanks have terrible gun depression. You're not going to be able to pick up over a hill and use your turret armor to uh, do anything because it doesn't have any gun depression. This thing has. You know, it's a Russian tank, so it doesn't have that good gun pressure, but it's better than Chinese gun depression, that's for damn sure. So yeah, that's the armor. Uh, the If we're talking hull, Motherland's got you beat. If we're talking turret, Type 9's got you beat. Now on to the gun. The Motherland gets a 100mm D10 K gun. The penetration with AP is 185mm, and the penetration with APCR is 235mm. 250 average damage with both high explosive. Who gives shit about high explosive? Uh, so 7.5 rounds per minute. That's pretty. That's uh, about what six second reload time or some some stuff like that. 2.40 two seconds. 2.40 second aiming time. Uh, that's okay. And uh, 0. Point, point 0.36 accuracy, which is pretty uh, pretty okay for um, Soviet standards. So that's the gun. It does. Uh, it's pretty well gun. I mean, all right. Let's just go on to Type 59. I'll, I'll talk about it later. So Type 59 gets a 100 millimeter two 100, 100 millimeter Type 59 gun. Penetration with AP is 181. APCR is 241 millimeters of penetration. 250 average damage, just like the Motherland. 6.9 rounds per minute. 2.9 at aiming time. 2.2.9 second aiming time, and an accuracy of 0.38. So slightly worse in all respects to the gun except the reload and uh, average damage which is the same you get less penetration slightly less penetration you're gonna get just four more millimeters of penetration with AP and only like just about ten or so with the uh, APCR on the Type 59 so if you use premium a lot Type 59 is the way to go if you don't motherland because it's got more penetration with uh, standard shells but all in all, the Motherland's gun stats are better than the Type 59's, except on, on reload. 
And uh, if it, this reloads faster and has less ammunition than Type 59, then uh, it ran out of ammo quite often. I've almost done it a couple games already. Now on to speed. The motherland has a speed limit of 44 kilometers per hour. Except uh, has a 420 millimeter. What the fuck? 100, 520 horsepower. I can't speak. 42 degrees per second chassis rotation. 40 degrees per second turret rotation. So the turret tr turns slower than the chassis, but not by much. Just 200 degrees per second. It's not really that noticeable, right? <laughs> Alright, type 59. 56 km per hour speed limit, which is faster, but you're not going to get up to that speed anyways unless you're going downhill. 520 horsepower engine is just exactly the same. I don't know why the Motherland's engine is a tier 6 engine and this one's a tier 8, but whatever, we're going to go with it. Chassis rotation 46 degrees per second, turret rotation 46 degrees per second. So. This thing turns, the Type 59 turns faster in every respect, but not by much. You're not going to see much difference between those two. Alright, so there's the armor values. I should have shown that. See how the Motherland has like more armor on everything except the turret? Yeah, anyway. So now on to uh, Consumer and Acquisition. The Motherland has a 360 meter view range, a camo rating is above average, and it has a 700 millimeter radio range. Now on the Type 59, on the other hand, has a 380 meter view range. Camo rating is average since it's a little bigger profile. And then the uh, radio range is 600 meters. So not much to look at here. I mean, you get to see people far, like 20 millimeters, far, millimeters, 20 meters far away, farther away with the Type 59, than you will the Motherland. But usually light tanks are going to spot your enemies for you, right? Alright, so that's most of the stats. But, I mean, what's better than Type 59? Nothing, but because it's like the best tank, all-around tank in the game. And it, and it gets premium matchmaking. You will only see Tier 9s in this thing, right? The gun has slightly less penetration. Not much, but like 3 millimeters. So that's good. You don't get put up against Mauses and E100s, you know, the big... German daddies with fuck ton of armor. Now this thing, on the other hand, will get into tier 10 games like nothing. I was just in one the other day. Not the other day, but the other, like a little while ago when I was uh, getting a feel for the tank. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> I just, we our, we our team got shit on, it was just me, you know, I'm a medium tank, you gotta pop out and shoot whenever you can. And most likely you're not gonna penetrate, because this gun, it, it feels weak. Like, I, I was gonna talk about the gun, I was talking about the gun, uh, what it felt like. It feels weak to me. It feels like it doesn't penetrate as often as the Type 59, but that doesn't make any sense because Type 59 has more more armor penetration, right? No, the Motherland has more armor penetration by 3 millimeters. But it just doesn't feel like it's a strong gun like Type 59's is. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe it's the sound. The Russian guns got updated with, a, with that crappy gun sound that you get at like the lower German tiers and stuff, and it's really annoying me. So um, I really like this tank so far. I wish it was a little bit faster. It's a little slow, in my opinion. The Type 59 is faster. I don't know what's what the deal is. I wish I could see the weight of uh, the tanks, but I can't in the console version. But yeah, this tank. Uh, look at this. Have you seen it up close? It's got the star and a hammer and sickle on the side. And I put the Motherland calls and the Motherland fighter on there permanently. That's on there permanently. I used gold for that. And yes, and then it came with all the equipment that it has. You got your vertical stabilizer, 20% accuracy while moving, 5% all skills, improved ventilation, medium caliber tank of which increases, not increases, but decreases loading time, right? And we also have sixth sense on here. Yeah, where you, if you get spotted, it tells you. I don't really use Sixth Sense that much. I'm training Mentor so I can get like a butt ton of fucking skills in here, and this tank will be unstoppable. Now, it is a tier 8 premium, so you get fuck tons of silver. I mean, I've gotten 100,000, over 100,000 silver in some games. But yeah, this, this, uh, I love this tank so far. It's pretty good. 
with type V9, I just feel like I do better in it because, you know, it's type V9. I mean, the only thing Chinese, China got right, I mean, I couldn't, no, all right. So we're going to play, we're going to play uh, maybe one or two games in the motherland. I was hoping not getting like a tier 10 game because we'll get completely wrecked. Oh, I love, I love the summer version of this map. They just added it. It's so beautiful. Hopefully we can get in and, uh. Wreck some shit. Wreck some Germans. Oh shit, guys. Treyarch just released a Riptoffin memory segment? I watched it after I got for recording this, and I might do a, uh. I might talk about it or something. Anyway, back to World of Tanks. Yeah, we are in a beautiful tier 8 game here. This looks good. This looks very, very good. Very, very good. All motherland. Traitors will go to Gulag. This map is so beautiful. Look at this map, dude. It's usually snow. And you can tell by the mini map. It looks like it's white. Usually it is like that. So we don't have much ammo. Uh, I'll, usually on all my tanks, I load half and half of AP and APCR just in case you know I got AP for the for the tanks I can penetrate and APCR for the tanks that are just like overly overpowered and you know have to get their dicks sucked off to die. You know, this tank is really good. It's awesome. It's got pretty comparable armor. I mean, I've I can uh, angle and bounce. Tier eight and nine heavy tank shells. So it's uh, a brawling tank, I would say. You would stay back and snipe. The accuracy isn't good enough. Aiming time isn't good enough for that. That's your German mediums. You need to go to for there. So it's just three of us on this side. I uh, hope we don't get completely wrecked. Oh boy, what is that? Oh, let us. Sh oh, it's Chewy. This, this tank, these Chinese, the Japanese tanks suck until you get up to like tier 9. Watch it kill me after I say that. No, no, no. Oh, fuck. Angle armor. We'll bounce most of the shells. Fuck off, guys. See, this thing's got pretty good armor. I can bounce shells from most tanks. But you gotta angle it. This bulldog thinks it's funny. I'll handle the bulldog, teammate. You, uh, handle the front. Just hold them off. See, I haven't taken a lick of damage yet. I've taken track damage, but that's about it. This bulldog's about to get face fucked. Get shit on, kid. America is no match for the Red Menace. Alright, buddy. We're Soviet brethren. We gotta defend our country. Where are these fuckers at? T69s are loaded by now. What is that? Oh, Yagtiger. That's no bueno. We're outnumbered over here. Back off, back off, back off, back off. If they rush us, we're dead. But looks like they're not. So we're good. That Yak Tiger is gonna fuck us so hard. Oh boy. Yak Tiger reloads way too fast. We can't deal with this fucker unless we both rush him. Nice play, Comet. Nice oh. play. Oh, shit. Prepare the track, you bastard! Where's my teammate at? Alright. We both gotta. Oh shit! Oh, it's no bueno. It's no bueno. We, got, we both gotta team up on this T69 to do anything. Yak Tiger's too slow to get around. You go to Gulag! Oh no. I, I screwed the pooch. I screwed the pooch. Reload. Oh, Yak Tiger right there. Fuck. No, 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 no,
Oh, we got we got teammates helping out from behind. We, we gotta we got the distraction. Distraction. Come on, object. Do, do that, bro. I got next one. Right, cool, 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 cool. Nice. Yak Tiger's dead. Everybody's dead. Woo! Come on, bro. You ain't got nothing on this Soviet ass. What we got up here? That's a good match. We were severely outnumbered. Came back on them. Right, can you just like shut up? Thank you. We get thirty feet. No. Good game, guys. Good game. See that? Look at that. Eighty-nine thousand silver. Tier 8 premiums are, are where it's at when you uh, want to have silver. If you're new to World of Tanks and you just need silver to buy off a bunch of shit, get you a tier 8 premium tank. I don't care how or whatever. Just do it. All right? It'll make you worthwhile. Second on our team, that A44 that was helping us out did better than us, but that's okay. He's a team player. Our Soviet brethren. Right, we'll play uh, one more match. Let's hopefully get into a higher tier match this time so I can show you what it's like to be in those matches when it's this thing. You know, I don't want you to be led on like, oh, this tank's indestructible in every tier match ever, you know? But the Soviet Red Army has its limits. When an E100 and a mouse come around the corner, you fucked right in the ass, feller. <sighs> now you can get this tank for free if you do the ops but you have to wait on that and I couldn't wait so I just bought it I'm not going to tell you how much money I pumped into it because you know you know the reasons we got us a good match of S Sand River San Standard Battle let's see what side will be spawn on because usually everybody goes up towards uh J2 and K2 and just snipes down onto the 7 line and 8 line. And you don't want to be down there when there's a shit ton of tanks up at the top shooting at you. Believe me. Nothing you can do. Sometimes you can't even see them. They got so much. They got a good stealth rating. Yes, we got this side of the map. So we'll, we'll go up there and uh, see if we can snipe. Alright, so we got a tier 9 game, right? There's not many tier 9s. Like, what are the odds we'll run into that to Conway or T30? But there are a considerable amount of tier 8s. Incredibly well armored tier 8s, might I add. We got a Carnivon, a Lover, Tiger 2, Ty T34, Super Mutant. Oh man, I don't want to see that thing. We're going to load APCR in advance, guys. If we see something low armored, we'll just shoot it with it, because fuck it. We're going to make more silver than we lose, anyways. Type 59 going up the hill. He's, cons he's, got, he's faster than me, but not by much. Not sure why he's taking the hard way up the hill, but you know, whatever. Hello, IS6. We're going to send him to Gulag. He won't know what hit him. That terrible Soviet accent. He goes, awesome. I'm not talking in the mic, so I mean, you know. If anybody talks, you know, we'll hear it. It's pretty annoying, but I'll mute him if I have to. Uncle Bathtubs! I've seen that guy before. He's in a game with me and uh, Rocket Man earlier. So we don't have like amazing gun depression, but it's okay. We can like peek over this hill, maybe. Oh, I lied. What is that? Type 59 is going balls deep, dude. You guys should follow him. Well, we got tanks down there. Yeah, I'm gonna follow him. I'm going balls deep. Now, since we have uh, vertical stabilizer, we can fire on the move relatively often. But you know, you're taking a risk of missing. Looks like we have the initiative over here. They didn't make it out of their base fast enough. We got the initiative, man. That's what we've been training for. So 
So what y'all think about the uh, Zetsubo and Oshima cutscene, right? Some crazy shit. So he killed himself. But uh, if you did watch it, I know this is incredibly uh, off topic. Hey, lover. How'd you like that track? I'm going to ammo rack him. About right there somewhere. Nope. Anyway, I know it's a one one five zombies con confirmed. Anyway, I know it's probably off topic. Well, thanks. He dead. And then, uh, so when uh, Takio from World at War tells Origins Takio that the orders came from the Emperor himself, Takio said, "Really, bro?" Takio says, "Um, my life, my path is built on a lie." Rick Toffin looks at the ground when he says that. The orders came from the Emperor himself. My life, my path, is built upon a lie. I'm thinking that Takio, Nikolai, and Dempsey's path is built on a lie. Richthofen's lie. I'm just calling it right now. I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, it's already confirmed, but I'm just saying, just be on the lookout for that in the next two okay, DLC match. And I'm gonna watch this uh, Richthofen track video thing with Bob after this video. I'm gonna see what I think about it. Maybe give my uh, insight. Oh, why did we do that? Oh, look, an AFK tank. What we got over here? Tank stories. Oh, he's back! There's the T30. Oh, that's scary. I think I could fuck us. See that? It's firing on the move, and I barely shot through that little rock. We're gonna get up here and uh, do some sniping. We've got the enemy on the run. There's a light tank heading back. Fucking bulldog. Is it the same bulldog from last game? Oh, no bueno. Damn it. Who's looking at us? YOLO and kill this light. Oh no, a lot of things I did. Alright. Conway heading back to defend the base. I missed him because I'm bad. There's a motherland over there. Our gun version isn't good enough to hit most of these dudes. 230. We've been firing APCR the whole time. Oh my goodness. That's fine. I'm not gonna. Ow. Don't print the engine. Okay, good. So uh, APCR loses its penetration uh, over distance. And this is like 250, 270 meters away. So that's probably not a good thing. We might lose silver. Highly unlikely though. The enemy knows our location. Take cover. Artillery inbound. Who's looking at us? It's fucking. Spotted. Nobody's shooting at us though. Never mind. Tiger 2. Ah! Fuckers. Mute, there's a suit mutant over there. I'm scared. 230's down. Woo! That Tiger 2 is being a dick, dude. We're spotted. We're sitting on 70 health. Hello, AT-15. Well, Russian accuracy. Oh, look at me. Oh, look at me. Good, 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 good. Good, good. Let the hate flow through you. Come on, Tiger 2. I don't want to move because I really don't want to drive across the fucking thing just not to get nothing. Bruh. The last stand of the Tiger 2 and Super Mutant. What I really can't wait for is the German hero tank. I cannot wait to buy that shit. I hope, it, I hope it's a Panther 2 since it's a tier 8 premium. Or maybe an E50 tier 8. Focus on this area. 
All the hero tanks have been medium besides the Brazilian, Brazilian Bulldog, but I mean, what tank tanks does Brazil have, to be honest? I'm gonna get an artillery shell, just look, arch it. Anyway, looks like this is it for this battle. They're backing up, and uh, we're gonna get some free cat points because we're lazy. We can back up fast enough. Yeah, if we ran a French tank, we'd be back there in no time. Capture points! Woo! Kill it. Kill it. It's a super mutant. It's really hard. Those things are hard as fuck to kill. I wish I had one. It's premium tier 8 heavy tank. That thing has armor to the balls. Yeah, buddy! Another successful match. See, I used a shit ton of APCR that game, that's why I didn't get much silver. Let's see how much, uh, let's see here. Silver earned, 55,000. Ammunition, 40,000. There you go. There's your ammunition cost, 40,000 silver. That happens when you fire APCR the whole game. I totally forgot we loaded APCR. Like, we shot a Borsig with that. Like, come on, man. Anyway, that's the motherland. And if you don't like it, you go to Gulag with the rest of the traitorous motherland drivers. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you want my input on this thing, is it worth buying $55? Yes, because it's like a rare ass tank. You know, it's the only. I mean, you can get it for free if you think you can get over 130,000 experience in a certain amount of time. Or you just can't wait. Like, I, I couldn't wait. I was like, oh my god, I want it. Ugh! So I just bought it, you know, because why not? Oh, I said how much it cost. Well, fuck. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed, and I uh, hope you all love this tank. I love this tank so much because, you know, it's just, it's just it's Russian. It's just everything red. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. I'm Sarge, and I'm signing out. Dragging you down, grabs you by the hair, pulls you down to the ground now. You need a little revive, yes you do. Oh, if you won't get up and go, you pick up the pieces and go with the flow now. You need a little revive, you need a little revive. Revive soda, yes! Say bye bye a little nicer, like this. Bye bye. Bye bye. Holy shit! Did you guys hear that voice?